high school math sucks big willy ding dong poo poo farts. Salutations, good to be back on the air. Learning is hard. Actually, it's easy. Ease of learning all depends on what you want slash need to learn. If you need to learn something, you need to want to need to learn it. Am I getting this right? To want to learn something, you need to want to learn it. And to want to learn it, you need to change what you want. <laughs> if you don't want to learn what you need to learn, then your bra- your brag. <laughs> your brain won't give it like a little tag of this is an important thing, you need to remember this thing. Now some people say changing what you want is difficult. They're right. Sorta. What most people don't realize is what they want comes from somewhere. And in my personal experience, what you want often comes from what you consume. As an example, if we think about like your microbiome. So research to suggest that those microbes might be sending chemicals through your bloodstream into your brain to tell you what to want. In <laughs> other words, it's not you are what you eat, it's you want what you eat. If it's not totally clear why this changes what you want. Like, wouldn't you have microbes for all different types of things that you eat? Yeah. But if you're not eating something, you're not gonna have a microbe for it because that microbe's gonna die. You are an environment unto yourself. The inside of you is home to a lot of creatures. To make this easier to explain, let's imagine that all of those creatures are African animals. <laughs> They're all African animals in your tummy. <laughs> it's so convoluted. Those animals don't have food sources down there. For some reason, the lions refuse to eat the other animals in the stomach. They think it's morally wrong, I guess. So they only eat what you ingest. If you ingest a lot of plants, then you're probably gonna have a lot of giraffes and Hippopotamus, because those are animals that eat plants. But if you eat a lot of meat, then you're gonna have a lot more meat eating animals. Lots of hyenas and lions. And it's the same with your microbes. If you eat a lot of cheeseburgers, then you're gonna have a lot of cheeseburger microbes in your gut. You are creating a selective environment that selects for microbes that enjoy cheeseburgers, which may affect the way that you see the world. When you see a cheeseburger, you will think, that is yummy, I want that. That's what I want in my mouth. But actually the microbes want it and but they change what you want. So if they change what, anyway, that's not the point of the video because food isn't the only thing that we consume these days. We consume a lot of media, like a lot of media. <laughs> You're consuming media right now! A while ago, I watched Shameless. It's a video, it's a video. <laughs> Watch too much YouTube. It's a series about people living in poverty. They do lots of and, and lots of and lots of. Anyway, seeing people in poverty doing lots of, well, it made me want to do lots of. And I was like, man, living in poverty is pretty cool. Alcohol addiction, pretty all right. And I went, wait a second. No, it's not. Wait, what? Why do I, <laughs> watching this show has changed what I myself want. It's changed the way that I see the entire world. It's rewired my brain in a certain way that has altered my perception of reality. Another example, if you watch a lot of Mr. Beast videos, which are good videos. I'm not <coughs> on you if you watch Mr. Beast videos. I watch a lot of Mr. V. Mr. Beast. Well, then you're gonna place value on the things that Mr. Beast, can I just call him Jimmy? You're gonna place value on the things that Jimmy places value on. Teslas and lots of money and making good YouTube videos. If you watch a lot of YouTubers, then you're gonna wanna be a YouTuber. It's a reason why it's the most wanted job in the world. So let's say you wanna learn math. That's what I'm learning right now. Uh, and it's real tricky. And to learn something like math, you're gonna need to get up every single day and practice doing math. To be honest, that kind of sounds like it sucks, but it really doesn't. If you want to learn math, I can promise you that after the first week, it gets so much easier to get up and do it. I'd really recommend keeping a journal. I just keep mine in obsidian. I just as I work on Khan Academy. Really recommend it. If you, like me, are learning math, a really easy way to motivate yourself to learn math is to watch videos about math. Watch number file and two red, blue, one, eight, seven, six. That was my phone number. If you listen to people who value math, their values are gonna rub off on you and that makes you want it. <laughs> it's the same principle as Mr. Beast or your microbiome. Well, not really the same principle, but it's a similar principle with that again. But this is how you do it. This is how you change what you want. Change what you want, change what you consume. 
Did that make sense? Oh, and quickly, here's another tip. Society really doesn't act like it values math. Society acts like math sucks because everyone's first and last interaction with math is high school math. High school math sucks big willy ding dong poopy fox. Really isn't great unless you got a good math teacher. If you're at a party and someone's like, ah, you're learning math, I'm not really a math person. You're gonna wanna say, no, I'm not really a math person either. Actually, I, I only just started and it's really tricky. Don't say that. Say, yeah, it's pretty tricky. Uh, but I've really grown to love it. There's only a certain amount of time that you can pretend to be something before you actually become that thing. Your goal in this whole thing is to become the type of person who thinks about the thing that you wanna learn when you're showering or doing a poo poo or when you're not um, on Vine, when you're not looking at Vines on your phone. And even if you are looking at Vines on your phone, make all of those Vines the thing you wanna learn. In my case, math. All my Vines are math Vines. I don't actually use Vine. Once it's the thing you're thinking about in the shower, when you get a spare moment, when you go to bed at night. Well, my dear, that's when you know that you have won. Ah, my tummy's filled with African animals! <laughs>